Hello everybody and welcome to Education 596 Graduate Seminar, your, your culminating class for your Master of Education Special Emphasis degree. My name is Valerie Beltran and I am a professor in the Teacher Credential and Master's Program on Main Campus and I'm so happy to be working with you on your projects this fall term. Just in case I haven't had you before in one of the other online classes, a little bit about me. This is my family, and so that's me, that's my husband, Jaime, and we have three children. Irene is our oldest, Jaime Jr. is our middle one, Katrina is our youngest one. She graduated with her master's in public administration in May. This is her best friend, and this is her fiancé, and they are getting married in November which is exciting. These are three of our Laverne Credential students and I had the good fortune of being the faculty advisor to go with them for a week in July to JPL where we learn from NASA scientists and educators all about math and science and we're standing here in the mission control room. We actually got to go down on the floor and watch what they do which was amazing. Um, I love sports, so here we are at Dodger Stadium. This is my 80-year-old mother and my two oldest. And then my husband and I love to travel. Here we are in Cuba. We were in Cuba in um, late June. And then uh, I also was in Boston for the first time, and I got to reenact the Boston Tea Party, so that's my mad face. <laughs> um, but it was amazing. I love history. So just a little bit to put a face to uh, to me so that you know who you're going to be working with. Now let's go ahead and move over to our Blackboard site. All right, so here I am on our home page and you'll see for this class we're not going to have as much on Blackboard because it's really you working on your own independent projects. But let me go ahead and first focus on the syllabus button. This is where I want you to go now and open up the syllabus. My recommendation is to print it out, but at least download it and have it open on your screen so you can follow along as we move there. So go ahead and pause this, do that, and then restart the video. All right, so on the syllabus you see how to get in touch with me. It's usually best to email me or text me. I live close to the mountains so I don't get very good phone reception but the texts come through and I try to get back to you as soon as I can. I teach a lot of different classes and I'm out at schools a lot so my policy is on weekdays within 24 hours I'll get back to you. Usually it's a lot quicker than that but some days are crazy as you know in this field and then on the weekends uh, within 48 hours. So if you look at the course description you can see that this course is set up very differently than all of the other courses you've taken. You are going to be working on your own individual proje projects. So we will only come together um, as a whole group at the very end of the, of the term where you guys will do a presentation so that we can learn from each other. Two times throughout the course of our term, we will meet via WebEx, so online, um, just you and me to discuss the particulars of your project and to have me give you feedback. So in doing that, you can see our goals are that you're writing at graduate level, that you can critically think, that you can read research, that you can... Um, create new things depending on which project that you're doing and also that you have the ability to give oral presentations. There are the course objectives, kind of just what I said. The best news, there's only one required textbook and you should already have that. If you don't for any reason, you need to have it. Sometimes students say, oh I just look for APA rules online. Please don't because some are right, some are wrong and you will cause yourself lots of grief by doing that. I think the book's only like $28, so make sure that you have it. So as I've already mentioned, course setup is very different. You will submit a proposal to me and I'll be going over the, the types of projects that you can choose from. You'll submit a proposal. 
I'll give you the green light, go ahead, start working on it. And then two times during the term, we will meet one-on-one -on -one via WebEx. I'll be sending you out the link. You just have to log on and it's a virtual meeting space three days prior to each meeting. So since we're meeting on Mondays, that means by on Friday, I need you to send, and before five o'clock, right? Before I leave work. So I need you to send me your updated work so I can print it out. And then I will um, email, I scan it back to you. It Since we're on Mondays, it will be on Monday morning. I'll scan it back to you so that you can have that and then we can discuss it at our one-on-one -on -one time. The one-on-one -on -one times are not effective if you haven't given me any work because you giving me work, can give I can give you support, tell you, okay, this is good, we need to change this up, we need to work on APA. Also, I don't have time, if you send it to me over the weekend, I don't have time to print it out give you the feedback that takes me a while to do and get it scanned back to you. So please have your work to me by Fridays at 5. Then we'll have just a 20-minute check-in to talk about things, you to ask me any questions. And of course, if you have a question that comes up in between our one-on-one -on -one times, just send me an email or a text um, and I'll respond to you that way. Then our presentation night will be on Tuesday, December 4th at 5 o'clock. So please make sure that um, you're available, clear your schedule. And each of you is just going to do a short, no more than five minute presentation. Have some visuals like a Prezi or a PowerPoint where you're just going to give us some highlights of what you've done. You're not going to cover everything in your project, but the goal of this is to to have others see what you've done. People might be really interested or want a copy of what you've done. So it's to help us learn from each other. Another different thing about this course is that it's not graded. Since it's a project-based course, it's a credit, no credit grade. Now to get a credit grade, you have to attend both of the one-on-one -on -one meetings. You have to submit your project to me on our presentation night. I do allow you to submit it after the presentations because I found students like to go back and read it through one more time. So as long as I have it by midnight on that night, I'm fine. And um, then obviously you need to participate in the presentation night. Because it's a credit, no credit class, you are eligible to take an in-progress grade. An in-progress grade gives you a full year to complete your project without having to pay any additional money. So that's really nice. Um, however, if you go past that year, then you have to start paying continuous enrollment, which basically is a, is a one unit of whatever the going tuition rate is at that time to basically buy yourself six more months. So I really encourage you not to take the in-progresses. I can't tell you how many people say, oh, yeah, I'll take an in-progress and I'll get it to you right away. But think about, we're going to be at the holidays, people get busy, they're not attending ULV anymore, and all of a sudden, you know, next thing you know, it's um, December of 2019, and you're like, oh my gosh, and then you have to pay that money. So... If you focus on this, and we're going to talk about some tips to help you be successful, you can get this done in the term. Now, if you do find that you need the in-progress grade, you do have to have at least 60% of your project complete. All right? Because if you don't have that much done, chances are you're not going to finish it anyways. You still have to attend the, one, the two one-on-one -on -one meetings, and I still want you to present. All right. Another thing, make sure you're checking your ULV email. If you don't, check it regularly. Hook it up with your Gmail, whatever you use, so that you can get the updates from me. There's the information to cover in your presentation. And that's pretty self-explanatory there, I think. Here are the key dates. I need your proposal by Friday, September 28th. We have to maximize our time. 
and then you'll see the two dates for our one-on-ones and whoops sorry this should say webex i've switched i will fix that um also there's a series of apa presentations just to review to help get the apa format fresh in your mind that i want you to watch and then here is our december 4th presentation night a couple of resources to help you i have a website that has sample projects from the past that i think are really beneficial they might have material you can use in your own career path, but also they show you how to set things up. Also, I have the APA presentations just as a review. And um, in the next video, we're going to move into, before we get into the project choices, some things to help you be successful. So stay tuned.